What is up guys, this is DJ Rod. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Injustice 2 video. Uh, today I got some more Sub-Zero gameplay for you guys. Uh, this gameplay actually comes from a player match that I had against this guy named King Ray 2017. And uh, this wasn't any type of like official first of five or first of three that we set up. We just uh, met up in player match and uh, we had some good matches against each other so I thought I'd show you guys. So like I said, I'm going to be uh, using Sub-Zero in this video. And like my previous video, I'm just going to be comment uh, commentating over what was going on in my head and what I was thinking throughout the match. So the Sub-Zero versus Black Adam matchup, I'm not too familiar with just because I haven't been using... I just kind of started using Sub-Zero. Uh, I'm not sure who really has the advantage in this, uh, this matchup. Uh, I know this is... So just to let you know, in this video, this is pre-patch Black Adam. So he definitely does... This is when he does a hell of a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, he's showing off the damage right here. He's flexing on me. Ah, oh, he dropped the combo. He still got me though. But yeah, he'll take the first round. But like I said, I'm not sure who really has an advantage in this matchup. I know uh, my clone really helps to keep his uh, keep him away from me. But uh, his low his low lightning move can definitely uh, punish him whenever I try to bust out uh, the clone. So I've got him corner right here. Definitely where I want him to be. Got him with the the clone right there. Ah, uh, dropping the combo. Never a good thing. Got me with the down two. That's something I really noticed in this game is that Black Adam's down two is really, really good. Like, surprisingly good. Like, I played Black Adam in the first Injustice, and down two was something you never want to do. Once he did it, like, oh, you got punished for sure. But in this game, it just, uh, it comes out, it seems like, it's weird. Even though it's the same animation, it just seems like it has a bigger hitbox. So it's definitely something that Black Adam players should be using a lot. So I got him back in the corner. Ah, oh, the clone didn't come out. That's always annoying as a Sub-Zero player. Sometimes if you just have the enemy like too close when they're waking up and you try to bust out the clone, it just won't come out. So that that's always just a, that's a, a bummer. So yeah, King Raid's gonna take the first game on me. Uh, but make sure you stay tuned. But like I said, this is a good match. So he's gonna take game one on me. Like I said, we're gonna be starting game two right now. All right. So he's got the game one on me. Same uh same character, same uh, stage. So I got him with the low, start off the match. Definitely a good, uh, was it back 2-3-3? Three, three, three. Yeah, back 2-3-3 three, three is a definitely good move for Sub-Zero because it's forward advancing and it's a low. And uh, you can catch people by surprise sometimes. So we're kind of playing the zoning game right now. Oh, I rushed in. Definitely a good move right there. 1-1-1 one, one, one for Sub-Zero is a good, uh, good stream because it ends with the overhead, which uh, is a nice balance to his lows that he has. Open them up with the low again. Ooh. That Sub Zero damage is definitely, definitely really cool because Sub Zero in like the, in the Mortal Kombat games was never one for damage. He was kind of just a character like, okay, let's set him up, uh, get him on read stands, and just a bunch of pressure. But in this game, he hits hard, so definitely really fun to use. So I got game one on him, hitting him towards the corner right now, staying in the combo for more damage. And that's something I've been recently, uh, right there, was something I've just been doing lately with uh, Sub Zero is using ending the combos with uh, Ice Hammer. It's a move that like you really don't use, see some zero players use, but it's really really good, just because it does a lot of damage and it gives you enough time to bust out the clone too. So he takes a uh, one round on me, but it's almost too little too late as I have a big health lead on him right now. Let's see what's gonna happen right here. Ooh, he's not blocking low. Watch your feet, boy. I right, hit him with the unclashable ca uh, combo right there. I can't even tell you how many times where I'll be in a match and it's in a situation like that and I'll hit him with the back three and instead of hitting with another back three, back three where it won't be uh, clashable, I'll go for some other combo and then he'll clash and I'll lose later on. I'm like, wow. So make sure you just gotta know what's going on in the game right now. But yeah, look at this. Look how hard Black Adam hits. Thankfully, he dropped the combo right there. Blocking the plus frames. Oh, we could hit me a dive kick right there. Got me with the low lightning. We're just trying to fill each other right now. We're not a lot of a lot of whiffs right now. Oh, he hit me. It's so crazy. That does so much damage. Thankfully, he got nerfed. Uh, he came me with the interactable. So he has a big lead on me right now. Hopefully, I can hit him back into the corner and uh, try to get back into this game. So that's exactly what I do right there. Hit him with the meter for four three. Don't drop the combo. Yeah, I didn't drop it. Damn! Look at that damage, boys. Going for the reset right there. Oh, 2,000 hit low again. 
like I said, like in the last video, four three is a really good uh, move to use a lot with uh, Sub Zero, just because a lot of people are gonna be expecting lows from Sub Zero, because that's a lot of his strings start with lows or have lows in them. So definitely incorporate four three into your into your Sub Zero matches. Ooh, got him with the low again. Extend the combo. Oh, missed my combo right there. Oh, he almost ran into the ice cone. I said I've been sweet. Blocking his lightnings right now. Ooh, got him with the meter burnt ice ball. Possible damage again. It's getting close. This is what's gonna happen? See, like that's what it's kind of what I was talking about right there. Like the clone is definitely good in any matchup, but if he knows I'm gonna do it, he can bust out a uh, meter burnt lightning and punish me with it. Oh, he's so close. Ooh, got him with the ice ball. Dang, and he hit me with the low lightning at the same time too. If that. If the animation was a done, if it hit, if I <clears throat> if it hit me again, I probably would have died right there. So I got game two, so I'm up two to one right now. This is gonna be game four right now. Um, so let's see what happens here. Hit the low lightning twice now. You gotta watch my feet. Trying to get him pushing towards the corner right now. Definitely as a sub zero player, he does a lot of damage outside the corner, but you definitely want to just put him into the corner because that's really just a game changer for him. Cause you can really just lock down a character and, and uh, get so get the get the opponent frustrated and then have them make mistakes. So I'm trying to a lot of poking right there. <laughs> I finally got back in the corner. Hit it with the forward three. Man, he hasn't been able to block my mix up at all. Mixing them up, boy. See, like I said, he got the ice hammer set up for the clone. There you go. Got round one right now. But he has a whole stick of butter meter right now, so I gotta watch out for that. Down two right there, really good. Down two is a really good thing to uh, interrupt combos. That's another good thing about Black Adam this game is that if you if he hits you in the air with this just normal dive kick with so much damage with because of his forward advancing forward one. Ooh, dropped the combo right there. Oh, he jumped right into the ice clone. That's gotta be so annoying for the opponent just to jump in like oh shoot landing in the clone, mixing them up. And got him with the mix-up. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you enjoyed the commentary. Definitely going to bust out more videos, like I said. Watch out for more Sub-Zero videos because I'm really enjoying them. Uh, so thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.